my project was to interview people and see what they n knew about food waste and stuff and also to educate them about food waste. I feel that my generation in particular is sort of very passionate when it comes to sort of social change and demonstrations and things. The interviews are majority of my generation. Oh, um, what, you want, you want like, uh, what, mass? Oh, in mass. Oh, God. Uh, I'd have to say over half a ton. I'm going to say 10,000 tons. Seven million tons. About 6.7 million tons of food gets wasted annually in the UK, which adds up to about 10.2 billion or 250 to 400 quid per household. Wow. That is really <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. I was pretty far, far off. Yeah. Kind of went the wrong way. <laughs> hmm. Guessing? Okay, um. Oh, this is fun. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. A third? I'm going to go with um, 25%. 40. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Something else we found was that the water used to treat all this uneaten food is roughly three times the size of Lake Geneva. And that alone was, like, really shocking because that's massive. <laughs> That's insane. That is so much. Lake Geneva. Oh, I haven't been. I haven't been to Lake Geneva. I haven't been. Oh, is this the one? Is it in Canada? Is it the one? No, the one in Geneva. Oh, in Geneva. Oh, in Geneva, Switzerland. Oh, my bad. My bad. Ooh, how much? Are we talking percentages? Like. For wasted food, I'm going to go for uh, maybe 40%. Oh, yeah, I'm going to guess like 30 to 40, yeah. Eight? Yeah. Oh, OK. A bit lower than I thought. Eight percent. Oh, OK, all right, fine. Wasted food accounts to something like 8% of all greenhouse gas emissions, which is, in the US, it was something over like two, uh, 32 million cars which made doing the project feel a lot more important because we, we started to realise how food waste was genuinely really affecting the planet. So you know when you go to the shops and you purchase a food waste bin? <laughs> I, know. I try not to like throw food away, I like keep things for like leftovers and um, I'm trying to get better at using things like, you know, like you like cut up a vegetable and you, and you use half of it, like trying to find ways to use the other half of it or something. But otherwise, I also have um, like a food bin. So I put stuff in the food bin and that goes to compost as well. So, yeah, really try and reduce, reduce my food waste. Yeah. From my perspective, um, the amount of biomass that goes into, into farming uh, meat is food waste. That's I'd consider that food waste, and uh, I minimise on that food waste by being a vegetarian. Because you know you could always you could always pick little holes in, in each reason, like to do with the environment, to do with the um, what economy of third world countries, and uh, ethically. But when you put them all together, it's pretty it's a pretty uh, persuasive, powerful position. I'd say my main takeaway is that you can actually do a lot more to help than you think. I feel like I entered this with not the idea that I was sort of powerless, but the idea that it was all sort of too bigger than I was and I, I was too small to do anything. It kind of made everything feel a lot more sort of possible, sort of you know, easier to cut down on things. And um, when you're cooking, sort of getting things exactly for the amount that you need and not overbuying. I, I, I'd say it was sort of the, the realising what you could do.